I'd like to to jump into first of all, you know, you were the editor of the Wall Street Journal. You came over from the UK. And by the way, did you go to uh, boys boarding schools or how were you educated I, in the UK? I went to uh, all boys, uh, all boys. What were they, what are in, in England uh, were then? I think there are still a few of them around called grammar schools, which uh, England used to have. Uh, still does a little bit, but has a selective. Um, system of uh, education uh, at age 11 and if you yeah. pass a certain exam you get you back then you went to a particular school and it was actually a catholic it was a catholic grammar school all boys um and i went there from the age of 11 to the age of 18 just outside and, and where was that the grammar outside school? london in, in the in the suburb well actually in london in the suburbs of london in southeast london not far from a place called sidcup not far from blackheath greenwich then but uh, yeah. essentially in the kind of the the out the outskirts of london well, I ask because I was sent to British boarding schools. My parents were living in Switzerland. They were American evangelical missionaries who came over in 1947. And so I was in a little place called Great Walstead in Linfield in Sussex near Hayward's Heath on the way to Brighton on if you left Victoria Station. And after that, up in a what's the British call, and of course, you'll know what I'm talking about, a public school up in Wales called St. David's College that I ran away from at 15. Oh, and wow. I, Made it, and you'll appreciate this. Made it all the way back to Switzerland via Hook of Holland and the ferry yeah. from Folkestone, uh, sans passport, um, oh. talking my way on board, uh, attaching oh. myself to a family, and I got all the way. I got all the way back to Switzerland. So that was that was the end of my my British education. Wow, that is quite an adventure. Yeah, it was a good one. No, so so the school wasn't exactly Hogwarts then, by the sound of it. No, it wasn't. It was not good. And the thing is, it contrasted horribly with the little prep school I'd been in that was run by a wonderful man called uh, Gordon Park and his wife Eunice. And I had been spoiled there because they were like a second set of parents. And in fact, it was a wonderful experience for me to step out of my little evangelical community into sort of what what for them was a low church, Church of England school, less ideologically driven, a little more freedom, and um, 280 acres. We were allowed to do as we pleased, build rafts, tree forts, whatever. It was a, it was a wonderful place. And then I went up to this rather door public school, um, and it contrasted very horribly. I lasted two years. Yeah, I'm time. saying that English boarding schools, have, or English British boarding schools, you, you went to one in Wales, have a very mixed reputation. I mean, obviously, some, some people are scarred for life. One thinks yeah. of... King Charles, uh, in particular, who uh, went to a, a kind of particularly kind of hardcore. Yeah, Scottish well, Gordonston wasn't a, a, a joyride. My brother, however, went to a boarding school, Catholic boarding school in Cheltenham, uh, in the west of England, and absolutely loved it. And, and again, I have many friends hmm. with a, views across the spectrum about their education. Some of them, literally, again, like King Charles, would never ever send their children anywhere near the school that they went to. But some of them right. have incredibly warm, warm memories and recollections. So it's a yeah, it, it very much depends on the character. Well, yeah. the nature of the school in the first place, but the character of the boy too, I suppose. Um, so, yeah. but I didn't go. I I I went to a day school, uh, a grammar school, a Catholic school, and then went off to university after that. Yeah, well, I was lucky because the 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 people who ran Great Walstead were lovely, and to the point where when I was in my early sixties. Thinking back over my life, I was writing a memoir at the time called Crazy for God that eventually came out. And in writing about them, I thought, you know, I haven't done something. I haven't seen them since, and I want to go thank them. So I actually flew over to the UK and knocked on their door, um, uh, said I was in the area and stopped by. Well, they wound up inviting me, and I stayed with them for three evening, three nights and reestablished. And then they came and visited my wife, Jeannie, and I here in the US, and, and they had never been to America. So... In the end, you know, I was able to round the circle and tell them what they had meant to me. That's lovely. That's very. That's um, yeah. It means a lot. I mean, teachers are such they have such formative, formative effects on our lives. I mean, everybody yeah. has some story. I I have recollections of particular teachers, good and bad. One particularly terrible, awful, yeah. sadistic one who uh, really made my life a misery for a few years. But a lot who genuinely. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever good I may that may exist in me, other than obviously them from my parents and my family, yeah. they 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 help to implant it. So, again, yeah. sort of mixed a mixed picture. Mm -hmm. 